This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2014 Dodge Ram 3500 heavy duty. That's a one ton crew cab long bed. It's a Cummins 6.7 liter diesel and it's four wheel drive. It's an SLT, which is cloth. Um, it was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Houston, Texas. Uh, it has 20,550 miles. Um, it's on a salvage title due to theft, not collision. Uh, basically, the attorneys for the insurance companies don't want any more liability for their client, the insurance company. So they give them salvage titles. If they gave it a clear title, it would imply some sort of warranty or guarantee. And even though we're selling it to you, um, if lawyers for you, after you kill yourself, were to find out that Progressive or Geico had their hand in this and they would say yeah, they didn't sell it on a salvage title They sold it on a clear title and blah blah blah. Anyway lawyers So that's how you end up with a salvage title uh, And a vehicle that's not wrecked. There it is. Anyway When we get them in we do a uh, two-hour inspection. This is what they look like basically and then I have my little cheat sheets right here that I write and I'll tell you what we did to it. Uh, basically, I disclosed everything that we did, everything that we know, um, and we even tell you what we didn't do, uh, if you need to know that. Uh, first of all, obviously, it has brand new tires. Uh, it, you will see in the before pictures, because we do provide four pictures of the vehicle before it left Texas. Front bumper was hammered. It was sitting on flats. They stole radio. They stole a bunch of stuff on it. Um, and so we replaced a bunch of stuff, including the bed, uh, which we'll get to. Um, it's got brand new tires. It's got a new windshield that had a crack in the windshield. It's got a new bumper and valance. Our new, that's that plastic piece at the bottom. Um, the rear bumper is new. The hood, there's still some dings in it. The hood's got a ding here and ding there. Just a couple little dings. I'm going to take this thing out and give it a bunch of pictures, probably 40 or 50, maybe 60 pictures. Um, there's a little device there that allow you to zoom in on this stuff. Uh, the major stuff that was going on was on the bed. So we just uh, found a uh, bed that someone took off to put a uh, flatbed on. And uh, we paid them for it and put this bed on it and uh, cleaned it up a lot. Still has these two dings. Obviously, you can't dent bust these because they're too sharp of dings in the door. Um, if you wanted to fix it, you'd have to fill them or you'd have to get a door skin. You know, we were thinking this is still going to be pretty much of a work truck, a puller. I don't think anybody's going to care too much. Uh, if you look at the pictures of the bed, though, you'll see why we did that. There was big dents on the side of it. and It was just not looking so good. So we decided we'd do that and a rear bumper. The tailgate is the original tailgate. We took the tailgate off it. They wanted an extra $300 for a tailgate. Um, we just said, we'll just take the bed. There's still a couple little things like right there, but honestly, the tailgate looks pretty good. So, that's that. You got a light kits here. Bang. There you go. The driver's side of this thing looks like it uh, came out of the showroom. It's a shame we have those dings in the door and a couple dings on top of the hood. If we didn't have those, this thing would be in the wrapper. I mean, it'd be almost perfect. But. Like I said, you know, with uh, trucks like this, uh, people very rarely care all that much about the cosmetics of it. Uh, there you go. Get the remote here. There you go. We even have a new fob here. We had to buy a have a key made, obviously. So I'm going to start this up. We're gonna look under the hood. Twenty thousand five hundred forty six miles. Let's see, and the hood release is right there. We did get two new 
batteries for it. It's got new batteries. We had it running for about an hour here. And it doesn't help that it's 500 degrees in Tucson right now. Actually, you know what? The passenger side, the driver side battery is new. This is an original battery. And I saw this uh, cover on it, I knew that, that was not the case. We sold a couple of these uh, trucks. They uh, last in our inventory about five minutes. Um, so, if you are the high bidder or you make the high offer on it, please make sure you get your uh, deposit in. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal, and we'll put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelkinetics.com. There was a hole back here. Um, our mobile repair guy came and filled in two holes here and here. I'm trying to see where there might have been some other ones. There was one right here he filled. The air's blowing cold. I can feel the air here from the rear vents. Here's some tears in the uh, tent work right here. I don't know if you maybe we'll just want to take the tent off. You could. And there's a little scratched in something right here on top of the door panel. Let's see. Door locks. Power door locks. There's some little storage compartments that I wanted to show you guys. These are kind of cool. There's little storage compartments back here on both sides. Sorry about the wind. Usually I do this with uh, earphones, earbuds, and uh, it wasn't windy until I, of course, started this video. Now it is. And it's so hot, I don't even want to try doing this video again. Apparently this thing probably was a work truck in Houston. Pretty hell of a nice work truck. But uh, they used it as a work truck. I'm sure it's nice to have a nice quiet diesel truck. And this is great. The noise they don't make. But so nice and quiet. Alright, other side. There's the uh, mirror out and in, up and down. Other side, out, in, up, and down. Tilt wheel right here. That tilts up and that tilts down. That works fine. Manual seat. There's a manual seat on both sides, which I would prefer. It looks like there was a tear in this one too. You know, when I see this, I think that the cops probably got involved here. They like to poke through things and make sure that they're not smuggling or hiding something when they bust these things. They're probably probing around with some sort of a sharp instrument to make sure that there wasn't dope or something in this truck when they busted whoever stole it. Whew. Man, nice to have some air conditioning on here. Radio. Get at least 50% of the year's school. <laughs> this little piece right here is missing. It's just a cubby hole right here. We're waiting for that to show up. It's just a storage deal thing. Um, let's see. There's that. Media. Radio. Compass. Air blowing. It's blowing ice cold. That's a beautiful thing. In fact, I need some more of that over here. It is freaking hot. Alright, we got a lot of 
lights. There's that. Let's see. Alright. We have cruise control. There's the cruise control on and off. We have phone controls over here. That's that. Alright, let me put it into neutral. Put it into four low. Now we're in four low. Let's see up there. We are now in four low. I'm gonna put it in drive. Put it in reverse. So that's for low, drive in reverse. That's definitely for low. Uh, let's see. Then we're gonna go all the way back to four high. Now we're four high. Drive and reverse. This is a nice truck. This would be a great truck for the lakes for the summer here. All right. Now we're gonna go to two wheel drive. Now we're back in two wheel drive. Let's go for a ride. Turn the air down a little bit so you can hear me. Like a hurricane in here. Um, if you come to Tucson and drive it home, which you're welcome to do, it's got a beautiful brand new set of rubber, so don't have to worry about that deal. Um, you will pay tax and dock fees and a restore fee. In order to uh, drive a vehicle, you need plates and insurance. You can't do that on a salvage title. Um, you have to get what's called a restored salvage title, which requires about a minimum of four hours of our time to take it to the police here, have them inspect it. Um, and for us to get the title switch from salvage to restored salvage, then you can get plates and insurance. That's why it's mandatory for us to do it before it leaves. Um, so, yeah, let's give you an example. If your state tax rate is uh, 3%, you would pay 5% tax, $250 dock fee, and $200 to restore the title if you're going to drive it home. Um, if your tax rate in your state is 6%, then you're going to pay 8%. Basically, you just add 2%, which is our city sales tax, to your state tax rate, add $250 dock fee, and $200 to restore the title. If you pay by wire and ship, all you pay is the agreed upon price, and that's it. Um, I still urge you to consider, and probably I'll insist on it generally, depending on where it's going, that you have us restore the title for you before it leaves, uh, which means just adding $200 to the agreed upon price. Uh, I already gave you the deposit speech. This is gonna go quickly. Um, it's gonna be many thousands below um, what other ones will be, and it's low mile, and it's four wheel drive, um, and it's Dodge and blah, blah, blah. So this is not gonna take very long um, to go. So please get your deposit in. Uh, that way it's yours, it's locked in, there's no drama. Uh, we've had a couple people at eight in the morning, we accept their offer. They go home, they wait all day to go make the deposit, they get home and the truck's sold to somebody else and paid for already. So when you get your offer accepted, make your deposit and then put this thing to bed. Um, otherwise, it's a waste of time, okay? Um, last thing I'm gonna talk about is warranty. This is out of warranty because of the title. Um, the fact that you're saving many, many thousands of dollars uh, makes up for the warranty uh, not being there. But because it's out of warranty, if it comes to you and it breaks, go get it fixed. Uh, we are not in the business of repairing vehicles um, that uh, are broken. We're in the business of analyzing them, uh, doing what we need to do to them, telling you what's wrong, telling you what's, what's uh, wrong that we fixed, telling you what's wrong that we didn't fix. And... Uh, one of the things we're not, uh, we are not mind readers. If we knew what was gonna happen to this truck next week, um, if we knew what would happen to any vehicle in a week or tomorrow or next year, we would be the richest people on the planet overnight. We would just buy all the good cars at every auction <laughs> and avoid all the bad ones and we'd be bazillionaires in a week, literally. Um, it would be unbelievably cool. <laughs> um, so what I'm saying is there's risk involved in buying anything used and there's risk involved in buying things that are out of warranty. That's this. If you don't like risk, don't buy this truck. There's plenty, 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 plenty of uh, vehicles out there you can buy with warranty, pay forty or $50,000 for, um, and uh, you'll have warranty. And when that's up, you'll owe 30 or 40 grand and you won't have any more warranty. That's the truth, okay? Anyway, hell of a truck. Uh, I'm gonna go take some pictures now. Thank you for your time.